It's just back here with another video, just talking about Pierre Poly or Pierre Polyev rather was talking about about how we had a deal in Canada and Trudeau broke it. So let's going to have we're going to have a quick look at this video here. Um, but just before we do, I just want to encourage everybody who's watching this video to please hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell, which gives you a notification every time I post a new video. Um, if you do this, it really helps grow my channel. So I really, really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section as I really uh, enjoy the channel engagement and reading what you guys have to say as well. So without further ado, let's get into this video and then we'll talk about it after like usual. I thought the deal in Canada was that every generation was better off than the one that came before it. But if you work hard, you got a house, nutritious food, and a good life. That was the deal. But that deal, after nine years of Trudeau, is broken. Everything is broken. Housing costs have doubled. Inflation hit a 40-year high. Two million people line up each month at food banks. 25% of Canadians are now living in poverty. One in 10 Torontonians are eating at a food bank today. In a city where there are now 256 homeless encampments, 50 of which went up in three months alone. Crime, chaos, drugs, and disorder are common in our streets. And our Prime Minister divides to distract from everything that he has broken. He has attacked small business owners, hunters, people who have chosen for their own reasons not to be vaccinated. Anyone who disagrees with them is demonized. My friends, Mr. Trudeau is not worth the cost. But the good news is, life was not like this before Trudeau, and it won't be like this after he's gone. So I do apologize if the audio wasn't great. It was uh, the volume was kind of low on it, and my volume was maxed out. But there is subtitles at the bottom if you wanted to read what he had to say as well. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about uh, is at the kind of near the end there, he talked about you know vaccinations. You know if you want to be vaccinated or not, you shouldn't be punished. Is basically what he's saying, and that's a very positive thing to hear from a politician, especially if you're more of like a populist or a libertarian or a conservative, right? Because that was obviously a very big issue a few years ago when there was all these mandates and lockdowns and Pierre Polyev seems to be at least like he's against that and would try to prevent anything like that from happening in the future, whether it does or not, who really knows with this crazy world that we live in. Um, but he also made a lot of good points about how Canada is broken in a lot of uh, places. And I know liberals get really upset with that, but drugs, crime, doubling rent, taxes, and by the way, there's going to be an, another tax increase in April with the carbon tax. So not to mention interest rates going up on mortgages in January. I mean, this is really, Canada is broken. And Trudeau is the one who broke it. And it's going to take a while to fix it. Right? So when Pierre Polyev says, hey, it was like this with Trudeau, but it's not good. it wasn't like this before Trudeau. And it won't be like this after he's gone. I do believe that he's correct on that. I have some issues with Pierre Polya, which I can get into in another video, but, you know, talking about certain wars, for example, that I really disagree with, I don't think Pierre Polya is going to, let's just say, put Canada first before other countries, which is exactly what Trudeau's doing. I hope he proves me wrong on that, but I don't think that that is really an issue for most Canadians right now. If you look at the top issues of Canadians... It's, you know, cost of living, inflation, crime, immigration, things like that. Sending money to other countries is not on the top of their list. It's on one of the top of my list, but it's not on a lot of people's lists. Um, and that that's to me is a problem. But since it's not really a problem for most Canadians, as it seems, Pierre Polyev doesn't really get criticized too much for that. Uh, although he should, in my opinion. However, he does seem like he's going to be a lot better on immigration, a lot better in terms of building houses, a lot better in terms of cutting taxes. And even though he's far from perfect, I'll take that way before I take Justin Trudeau or Jugmeet Singh, who apparently doesn't know the difference between an apple and a potato. But I'll, I'll make another video about that as well. But it's just um, you know, we don't really have like a true Canada first option, in my opinion. I do think that Pierre Polyev is the better option. I think Max and Bernie is an absolute loser and a coward. But 
yeah, if you if you don't have a, a real good option, the best you can do is take what you have. And in my opinion, that's what Pierre Polyev is. He's just the best option. Now he could prove me wrong and actually show he's Canada first. I just don't know if he's going to do that. And I certainly have my suspicions, but let me know again what you think in the comments section. Do you agree with me that he's very suspect when it comes to being Canada first? Or do you believe what he's saying and you believe 100% he's Canada first? I'd love to uh, hear that as well. Uh, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for so much for watching again. Please don't forget to uh, hit the like and subscribe button, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And also don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.